Hello and welcome to Photo Touch Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the great new features of Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 5. I'm going to talk about how to use smart previews. This is a very exciting new feature which allows us to be able to work on images even if we don't have the source files with us. So let's just say I have a pen drive, for example, or an external drive on which I store some of my photos, my original files. And whenever I don't have that external drive with me, then normally I wouldn't be able to work on those images. I would just simply see a preview of them and see them in the library, but I won't be able to use the develop module. But now in Lightroom 5, it's possible. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to the import menu and I'm going to choose the source uh, from my pen drive, which is it's an external drive, which has these images on it, some camera raw files and some JPEG files. I am going to choose build smart previews, and that's the important part. If this option is checked, then these all will be able to edit it even when I don't have this pen drive with me. So even if this pen drive or external drive is not connected to the computer. So now if I click on import, I just choose add them and I click on import. And these all will be imported to my catalog. And when it's ready, it even tells me that smart previews were built or already exist for 12 photos for this catalog. That's brilliant. And I can also see that there is another volume uh, called Perhiniac here in the folders. So I can see that there are 12 images from that hard drive or external drive. While from my hard drive on the computer, I also have another 12 photos. Altogether, the catalog has now 24 images. So what happens if I decide to remove that uh, hard drive or that external drive? So I eject this and let's see what happens here in Lightroom. It will show this little uh, icon, which means it's the image is in offline mode. So you can see that folder is not available anymore, but I can still work on these images in offline mode. So I can go to the develop module and here it says it's a smart preview, but I can still work on it. So I can change the temperature, I can crop it or whatever I want to do with it. And as soon as I add uh, or uh, put back the pen drive, so I'm going to do that now. I edit the pen drive back, connected it, and you can see it already appears here in the folders panel. And all the changes I've done in offline mode will be automatically applied to the image, as you can see. Now what really happens is that next to my catalog file, Lightroom will generate a smart previews data file. Let me show you this. If I go to that folder, where I have my catalog file, you will find the smart previews file next to it. The way Lightroom can do this is by creating compressed DNG files inside that LR data uh, file, which is still much smaller than the original uh, camera raw files. It's usually around 10 times smaller, but it still allows us to work on these images even if the source files are not available. So you can imagine how useful is this when you have smart previews available for all your files and that smart previews file is traveling with the catalog file together, for example, on your laptop and you are on your way, you can still edit your photos even if you don't have your hard drives with you where you store separately your original uh, camera raw files. Let me go back to Lightroom and I'm going to show you what happens if I choose not to have a smart preview. So I'm going to select a couple of Im images and I can do this in the library module under the library menu, previews, and here I can choose discard smart previews. Once I choose that, it will say, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I'm sure. I discard them and that will make the file size also smaller here in the smart previews file. So now you could see that from 11, it went down to only six megabytes. So that's the way you can see how it changes uh, the files. And now if I do the same thing what I did before and eject this uh, external drive, 
all the other files will be fine so here you can see these ones have all uh, smart previews for them while these ones the ones that I discarded will uh, still be visible but I won't be able to use the develop module anymore so if I select another one for that one because I have a smart preview I can work while on this one because I discarded the uh, smart preview now the photo is missing I wanted to also show you another thing about importing images I'm going to select all of these uh, from the previous import and I'm going to uh, remove them so I remove them from my catalog completely and I add the external drive again and I'm going to import the same files again but before I do that I'm going to change something what I would like to achieve is to keep the image selected which I'm working on at the moment while I'm importing the images in the background normally Lightroom will immediately switch to the grid mode and show you all the imported new images while the importing actually happens but if we go to the Lightroom uh, preferences this is a new option as well in Lightroom 5 uh, this is the select the current previous import collection during import if we turn this off and uh, go back and then start importing images so the same uh, folder from this I want to import all of them and click on import you will see the whole operation will happen in the background so it's like a background import I can still work on the images and I don't get distracted because I don't really want to have a look at them only when it's uh, ready but it will tell me that now it's ready so now I can go to previous import from the catalog options that's a much better way to work with the images I think and there's one more thing I wanted to point out and that is about the smart collections again another change in Lightroom 5 if you go to create smart collection you will find that the options you can use for creating smart collection criteria is much more organized now and you will have a couple of new features here as well for example has smart preview so you can quickly search for those images that has the smart preview or not so you can even set it uh, that it's false so that's a fast way to find uh, images in your catalog with or without smart previews and by the way this is something that you will also find under the filtering uh, metadata so here you can also choose now the smart preview status so has or don't have smart previews and that's all I wanted to show you in this video I hope you found it useful and if you are interested about the other new features of Lightroom 5 then make sure you check out those videos here on PhotoTouch Plus thanks a lot for your attention